Binance to be fully transparent. They show us how much uh, crypto they own, uh, how much in stable coins. Uh, is this good or, or bad for crypto? I'll, I'll give you my opinion. Uh, also, we're going to be talking about Ripple and how they are offering uh, jobs to, they're offering employment to former FTX employees. And uh, on some very good news, Tom Emmer, a lawmaker, Republican lawmaker, is going after Gary Gensler. I'll give you my uh, reasoning to say uh, this is very good news um, overall for the, the crypto markets. Now, if you haven't subscribed, uh, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe and uh, hit the like button. Thank you. Now, Binance wants to reassure its customers that it has full reserves by committing to transparency about them. CZ said this data was already available, but now it's easier to read and access. So they are very, very being very transparent and they're revealing how much crypto they own, how much uh, stable coins, how much in stable coin they own. And although it's awesome, it's very positive to see one of the largest exchanges be so transparent. It's somewhat worrisome to see uh, so much crypto uh, being owned by one entity. I don't think at all that Binance uh, is going to go the way of uh, FTX uh, or Celsius and other Voyagers. And I don't think that's going to happen to Binance, but um, they are a very large uh, group right now, a very large entity, and they own so much crypto. Uh, and like I said, I don't see any danger ahead for them. But uh, I would, like I always tell you, uh, go ahead and store your crypto on your own hardware wallet, just in case. Uh, if you haven't done it, uh, it maybe the first time is going to be somewhat difficult, somewhat tedious. But once you do it a couple of times, it becomes uh, very easy. And it's uh, it could make difference between disaster and you being able to access your your crypto uh but um i commend binance for being so transparent and for showing that they are willing to uh work with the crypto industry uh and be a positive force uh in the world of crypto so uh, CZ of Binance published that they own 475,000 Bitcoin, 4.8 million, 4.8 million Ethereum, 17.6 USDT, 21.7 billion BUSD, 601 million USDC, 58 million BNB. So they're being very transparent about how much they own in crypto. And uh, that is very good for crypto. Uh, they also have a reserve uh, that is going to, it's a reserve to protect crypto owners uh, in case something, something uh, happens. Uh, they call it the SF. I'm sorry, the SAFU uh, program. On November 9, Binance started, stated that in light of recent events, it has topped up its, a, its SAFU insurance fund. So it's an insurance fund in case something uh, was to go bad. They have these insurance funds um and uh it was uh it's worth around one billion uh well right now at, 
the current time is worth around 735 million and uh that is good uh that there is at least some insurance and that uh they're not according to them they are not uh using um the they're not risking the the their clients uh funds but uh, that is what's going on uh very different from what ftx was doing uh but uh I would still say go ahead and uh, put your funds in, in a hardware wallet. Now, Ripple Executive makes unexpected offer to FTX employees. David Schwartz, Chief Technology Officer at Ripple, has hinted at the possibility of FTX employees pursuing a career at the crypto payment company. Earlier, a similar offer was made by Schwartz to Twitter employees who had been subject subject to massive cuts as a result of the management change and the arrival of Elon Musk. This is definitely good news. Uh, we know what happened to FTX. Uh, now, Ripple has a team that, uh, of course, would do background checks on these employees. And... Uh, I'm sure they wouldn't hire people that uh, put crypto uh, people's crypto at, at risk. Um, the people that were responsible for what happened at FTX was management and uh, some higher level level executives, but uh, a lot of employees they were not aware of what was going on with the finances. Um, there is a lot of jobs in crypto that have nothing to do with uh, the finances, the investing. And uh, after interviewing them and looking at their background, I think it's awesome that Ripple is uh, trying to help these people. It's not only good for them, but uh, it, it also shows that Ripple just keeps moving ahead. Uh, that's, that's awesome news uh, for XRP holders. Uh, Ripple's not slowing down, even in the worst, the worst. This, this in history could be the worst week in crypto. In all of the years that crypto has been around this week, it, it is going to remem remember it for, forever uh, because of uh, FTX, one of the worst weeks and uh very positive to see ripple uh trying to hire more people the offers from ripple cto follow the company's need and willingness to expand its workforce as reported by you today ripple currently has more than 350 vacancies in asia and north america so they uh they need 350 employees that is uh it's uh hopefully they find good employees but it's just good that they're expanding definitely good for uh the xrp community now republican lawmaker claims sec chair was coordinating with ftx to obtain regulatory monopoly regardless of your political affiliation uh it it should not matter uh right now the uh democrats were in control of certain investigations and uh things have not worked out especially with gary gensler and all, all the weird things going on at the sec now if uh, Republicans are able to start invest investigations on the on the SEC, that's that's awesome news. And again, it's not political at all. The, it, Jay Clayton, the guy that started uh, the lawsuit against Ripple, was a is a Republican. So this is not about politics. This is about who is for crypto and who is not for crypto, or who is against crypto and government. And uh, my main priority right now is uh, crypto uh, investments. Uh, 
And then after that, yeah, other political issues come in second place. But uh, my first priority when it comes to pol politics and, uh, yeah, when it comes to politics, my first priority is who is um, against crypto and who is for crypto. And I've, I've noticed that there is uh, um, some good people on both sides and, and some not so good people on, on both sides but uh as of right now this is what's going on a uh tom emmer a uh, lawmaker republican lawmaker is uh going to investigate what's going on with sam bankman fried and ftx now i'm sorry with gary gensler and as, as and sam bankman fried so this is what uh, he tweeted. Interesting. At Gary Gensler runs to the media while reports to my office allege he was helping SBF and FTX work on legal loopholes to obtain a regulatory monopoly. We're looking into this. So this uh, representative says that uh, Gary Gensler was uh, trying to help FTX, um, basically, uh, make regulation to basically put FTX at the top of all the other, you know, to be in control of all the other exchanges. Uh, now let's not forget that, uh, the SEC is the one that started the whole lawsuit against Ripple. So it's just too much going on. It's been a lot of just weird things going on at the SEC for for a long time now. Um, and regardless of party affiliation, uh, in the past it was a Republican uh, SEC, now a Democratic SEC. I think it does not matter what the party affiliation is. Uh, I think it's time for uh, someone to invest investigate deeply what's going on at the SEC. Uh, we saw a lot of things just uh, somewhat, you could say, criminal um, in the past uh, where, you know, the SEC says that uh, a certain crypto is not a security. Uh, and that crypto looks a lot, a lot like most cryptos. Uh, we're talking about Ethereum. So other crypto companies, they hear that and they're like, oh, okay. So my, my, uh, project is very similar to Ethereum and Ethereum is not a security. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, move, move forward with my project. But then the SEC goes and sues. Uh, starts a lawsuit against that project um, against Ripple. So just the, the interesting is that a lot of people at the SEC benefited economically, financially with uh, basically helping certain companies and going after other companies. That is the main reason why I want someone to investigate Gary Gensler and the SEC and go back to uh, past years because uh, the SEC has been uh, very, I could even say they've been corrupt for the last 10 years, uh, if not more. But um, so it's good to see someone uh, talking about the SEC. Good to see someone in power, in government, talking about the SEC and how uh, they're looking into this. So, uh, yeah, I agree 100%. Look into the SEC. Uh, I hope more politicians uh, start looking into what's going on. But, uh, yeah, this is what's going on uh, in crypto today. Uh, 
thank you for watching the video if this entertained you or uh informed you in any way uh please subscribe to the channel uh like i said earlier i appreciate it uh and uh, have a great day thank you